want to ask you, uh, one of the biggest stars in the UFC, Ronda Rousey, uh, you know, ended the year on, on the loss to Amanda. Um, but she had also kind of that, that mental or that issue as far as not wanting to talk to the media, things like that. Still hasn't talked to anybody. What, yeah. What's your take on kind of what's going on with her? Well, the law in, in that fight, I didn't. I don't believe I saw Ronda Rousey competing at her highest potential. I think that whatever whatever was 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 going on with her didn't allow her to fully express herself that night. And, and Amanda is supremely confident right now, which is you know really a dangerous fighter to deal with. Um, as far as the media and all that kind of stuff, no one prepares you for that sort of thing. And and I think that it's a really tough thing for any person to know how to navigate that. Sounds like they're still trying to move my car. What kind of car do you bring? Uh, uh, SRT8 Challenger, but I, I've done a little bit of work on it. It's a six-speed. Uh, everything I own just about to manual. So nobody yeah, drives a little, little dangerous trust in uh, with that, right? <laughs> well, I think, they, I think they can cover it. But uh, yeah, nobody prepares you for that sort of thing. And she, she got outside the box of the UFC PR machine and she got into the Big machine, the real machine, the the freaking star maker. Thank you. Thank you. They'll do it if, if there's that if there's that that spark there, they will start a fire. But no one teaches you how to deal with that fire, hey, what's up, and that's so, uh, a different thing altogether. And I know, but I didn't even come down. I didn't come down. I, I stayed. It's, I even if you're well prepared for it, just you're a person that is is is, is more suitable for that environment to deal with that. You still need someone to have your back that you can trust that will, will give you the right advice and, and steer you, because publicists are great for, for again taking that spark and turning it into a fire, but they're often no good at trying to guide that person to be able to handle that stuff, to deal with it in the, the appropriate manner, and to be in the right sort of mental state. So, I mean, I don't know I don't know Rhonda that well to, to make any real declaration. I just know that that situation, being that famous, so to speak, can be tough. And then being famous with such an objective-based uh, base of, of what made her famous, being a professional fighter. It's not a professional actor where you go out and you, know, you have bad movie, good movie, whatever. I mean, it's all subjective. No, someone's trying to kill you. And if you get beat up, oh, you, you suck. If you win, you're the greatest. And it's tough. But last question, man. Uh, lots been made recently of Conor McGregor fighting Floyd Mayweather. What's your take on that? Get that money. Right? <laughs> get that money. Although I think they should do uh, like a mix of rounds, like one boxing round, one kickboxing round. One boxing round, one kickboxing round, then an MMA round, and then I, I don't know. I think that would be more interesting to me. But boxing-wise, no, I don't really think he's got a shot. I mean, Mayweather is one of the greatest of all time. He is a fantastic boxer. He's amazing. I have looked at him for defensive strategies and different stuff. I mean, he's incredible. You don't have to like what he says, but you see the work ethic that, that guy puts in. If you watch any of his videos as far as his training stuff, and then you watch him in that ring, he's amazing. Uh, Conor McGregor is fantastic in his own right, but not a boxing like Conor. McGregor, like Clay Mayweather is. It just ain't the same. And sure, Connor could knock him out. Right? He's got power. He don't have skills like Mayweather. He don't have that. Oh man. I mean, the best boxers in the world can't touch him. How is McGregor gonna touch him if he ain't kicking him? Yeah. You know, or, or getting a hold of him. I, but I, I don't hold that against Connor either. Go for it. When are you gonna get the shot to do that? To test yourself in that manner? Who cares if it's not? your sport necessarily who cares go live your dreams go go try for something failing at something great is better than doing nothing yeah, yeah strive to be great right yeah exactly uh lastly man just what, what's going on with you brother when, when can we see you back in the octagon are we going to see you back in the octagon what's yeah going? at some point i imagine but you know i've got uh the commentary that i do at uh, jim ross uh, on axis every friday night 9 p.m uh for new japan pro wrestling i've got my fighter here tonight aj bryan i have my fighter uh, two weeks ago, Alyssa Garcia. I got Victor Henry fighting in Pancrase on March 12th. Um, and then I've, I'm making my my second um, appearance in Impact Wrestling on Pop for TNA. And uh, tonight, so if you uh, if you're out there, well, whenever you see this, I hope you watch it or you DVR it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Josh. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. You're welcome.